Well, I come from a musical family, and third generation of musicians in my family. Uh, my mother is organist, pianist, my grandmother was also pianist, and my grandfather was a violinist. So I heard music even before I was born. So for me, it was the most natural thing to play the piano, because there were three pianos at home. And, yeah. So I started to bang on the piano, and my mother said, you should put your fingers in the right place. Uh, apparently, I liked it, and I was interested, and yeah, that's it. So I, I never stopped. Oh, but it, it's different every time. You know, that's the magic of music. You never play twice the same way. Uh, the music is live. Uh, so, uh, depending on the, on the piano, on your mood, on the audience, the acoustic, you know, it's every time is different. So that's why it's never we never repeat anything. Uh, that's that's the luxury. Uh, that's the, of me being a musician. Uh, that's you. You don't repeat. The, I mean, I played the Ravel Concerto maybe 300 times, but every time it's a it's a new experience, and uh, I don't even have to think I'm going to play differently. I will play differently. I know. So that's why uh, I keep playing. Uh, the same pieces sometimes, some of them because I think they are essential to my life, but uh, they sound always different. Uh, I enjoy recording also with my wife, Amy, that we will see soon. We did a really very interesting repertoire, uh, again among French music. And, uh, Soon we will release a CD of Les Six, the group Les Six, this famous six French composer in 1920. That was really getting together and composed some new music, a new language. So it is going to be the centenary of their creation in 2020. So we did a recording of all those six composers. I'm also trying to teach regularly master classes around the world because I think it's important to bring that knowledge and my experience to, to young people. And, uh, also doing a little bit of judging competitions like in Jakarta recently. And I do that not really to judge but to meet people, to meet young people and to help them. So I try to be in touch with them and maybe help them, especially the one that didn't win, and trying to guide them a little and to, to, yeah, to do something more constructive than just judging, which I think is a little frustrating. And uh, yeah, that's about my life. <laughs>